Israel has joined over 140 countries around the world who took to public places to make sure no one has left any trash behind in the International Cleanup Day. We joined a group of kids who took upon themselves to clean up the forest by the city of Modin. Being that the World Cleanup Day is an Australian invention, it was only fitting to have the deputy head of the Australian mission in Israel in attendance at the festivities. Clean Up the World campaign, of which this is a part, uh, started in Australia. There was an Australian yachtsman and builder who um, travelled the world and saw things that were not as clean as he'd like them to be. Uh, some of the beautiful parts of the environment of the world um, disappointed him when he got there. Um, and then he went back to Australia, saw his own Sydney Harbour, had its own problems and so decided to just practically do something about it and so got together with a bunch of friends and that sort of snowballed into a group of volunteers. Uh, that was in 1989, I think there were 40,000 people had the first Clean Up Sydney Harbour Day. It then rolled on to a Clean Up Australia Day and then Clean Up the World. And now uh, the campaign overall, it's an estimated 35 million people participate in 130 countries. Um, the response here in Israel has been fantastic. Having already planted over 240 million trees in Israel in the past 100 years, the world president of the KKL, Effie Stenzler, says it is crucial not only to plant but also to take care of our forests. It's important because Israel, as you know, is not a big country and we planted during the last 100 years more than 240 million trees and it's 1.5 million dunams that KKL, JNF is responsible for it. So today it's hundreds of thousands of volunteers are spreading in all over Israel and making those forests much cleaner. The Minister for Environmental Affairs, Amir Peretz, claims it all starts with educating our kids to be environmentally conscious. <laughs> All the children that took part in this action, it doesn't matter whether in the forest or the beach, I have no doubt that when they get home, they will become those that will not let their parents to pollute on a trip to make sure they separate waste. I saw a child walk up to his mother and he told her that when she troughs out a banana and say some cardboard, he tell her, no, you have to separate the waste, otherwise you're damaging my future. I mean this idea that protecting the environment is protecting future generations. The children are the best and most important ambassadors of it. Among the many youngsters who came to clean up the woods, we found also Maya Bejo from the Idanim school in Modi'in. We're cleaning the woods because it's uh, the national cleaning day. It's really fun to just clean the woods and clean the environment and it's really exciting. For me. I and mean, I try to do a lot of stuff for the environment. With Israel now part of the group of the OECD countries, it has become even more crucial to be up to speed with environmental issues. And you can truly feel also the attitude of the Israelis changing on the issue. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the International Cleanup Day Activities at the Ben Shemin Forest.